Hey, Patty G here. Let's clean this mess up. We bought these Members Mark six tier commercial shelving. Check this out 3,600 pounds per shelf unit. Now that's maximum, of course, evenly dispersed, etc., etc. If you add the wheels, then it's uh, 500 pounds, which is more than I would ever put on this system. So here's my plan. I'm going to take all these totes. You can see where they've collapsed under the weight of the ones above it. Poor plan on my part. <laughs> my fault. Totally my fault. But I'm going to take all these totes that I've got items stored in. For example, there's my motorcycle and car cleaning stuff. There is obviously my plumbing box. Uh, some geeky sound equipment. DC power cables, red and black, that type of thing. Uh, wall warts, etc. Chargers. Tubes, these are my epoxy sailors. Uh, silicons, glues. Down here are my sprays. And uh, got way too many of those, and it should not be in an enclosed bin, by the way. Car lubes. Uh, what have I got over here? I've got some. We'll call that miscellaneous because I can't see it. Uh, computer networking, switches, that kind of thing. DVD got in there. No, wait, that's a video game. Uh, okay, over here we got motorcycle jackets, Max Miata. That's my 99 Miata NB. Uh, first edition without the uh, VCT variable crank K or crankshaft timing. And there's a bin for electrical, which needs to be on the top. Here's a miscellaneous hardware bin, um, music, AC power, wall warts, uh, I'm sorry, not wall warts, uh, power strips, surge protectors, extension cords, AC cables for equipment, and that sort of thing. But, as you can see, I need to stow a lot of stuff. Oh, over here's something. What's this? Oh, my ham radio antenna box, antennas and etc. It's so my vacuum stuff. That's all my ends and fittings for vacuum and dust collection. Oh, and it does not contain any of that. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. So anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan, as they say. Got to have a plan. We're going to take these shelves, we're going to put them together. We're going to take these totes, put them on the shelves. We're going to organize stuff, get all this stuff cleaned up and off the floor. And I'll show you a couple boxes we've got back here in the corner. I've showed you these once before, I know. But uh, exciting stuff. So uh, we'll show you those. Sweet. Now that's it. Didn't come with this. The shelf liner. Basically, just enough to keep stuff from sliding through the cracks. I like that. That's awesome. Instructions. Next, screw on the wheels or the leveling feet. That's what you do, you know. I don't know. I go either way sometimes. Each half of this leg is a little bit different. On the end that the wheel goes in or the uh, screw feet, if that's what you want to use, there's a space between the end and this first line. All the other spaces are fairly uniform. On the top, they're right up to the end. So when you're assembling it, screw the wheels into the piece with the long section right there. By the way, I love these new lights. 
If you want to check them out, I'll put a link over here. So then, use these slip rings, I think that's what they call them. Wrap it around a pole. They've got a line in them that will drop into the uh, ring cut into the uh, legs. And then uh, the shelf comes down over this, and since it's cone shaped, forces pressure on there and squeezes that uh, little fine line. I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a 30 second of an inch, I don't think. Um, but it'll force that little fine line into the groove on the shelves. It's pretty awesome. Let's yeah, see if you can see this. I want this one in the very bottom for the very bottom shelf. There you go. Now the shelves, this ring on the shelves is also conical. Smaller here than it is here. And um, that's going to slide down over the black piece and lock it into place. <laughs> At least I hope. I'm going to uh, use two different styles of bins. Um, as a matter of fact, though, interestingly, they're almost identical in outside dimensions. I don't intend to open those on the shelf. What I would rather do is just slide them out, open them up. I worked good in the uh, other iteration of these shelves. Can you see this really cool left and tape measure? I found that in a closet here. It's an eight foot roll, chrome clad, and it's called the Measure All with a Z. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so we're gonna go 14 and a half from the top. try to do is organize the stuff that I use the most here in the center of the shelf where I'm not reaching for it and where I'm not bending for it 
I like to try to get everything right here. Arms length. Sweet. Well, there it is. It almost fits. Can you see? Yeah, you can. It sticks out about three inches over here. Really nothing I can do about that. But for now, let's get this stuff off the floor. There it is. You know what occurs to me? I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Maybe too much. I don't know. Is that even possible? So here's something I don't like about these shells. They appear to come with pre-built sag in the middle. Now this is not parallax. I see this with my eye as well. You see that? They all come with a little pre-built sag. Well, we've done it. We've got uh, all the bins stored on these shelves. They turned out great. Um, like I say, we used them. Uh, I used one rack of shelves in the other house, the old house. And we've got a couple racks of shelves storing some other stuff here in the house. And um, so uh, these things are really sturdy. So you know we've been going back and forth between these two houses and this is one of the first evenings that I've got to spend here in the workshop. Uh, and I see them coming more frequently now and we're going to be getting some stuff done. Uh, you can see from the footage these shells are awesome. They're, uh, they're strong, they're rated at, uh, if you put the wheels on them, 500 pounds. If not, I mean it's, it's like 3,600 pounds these things are rated at. They came from Sam's Club. And uh, I think I showed you a picture of the box with the item number on it. And by the way, this is not a paid endorsement for anything. So I've got all the boxes up off the floor. I've got an area about 10 by 10 here in front of me that's open. <laughs> I think it's awesome. So what else we got coming up? We've got to put together the new miter saw. We've got to put together the new band saw. We've got to build an in-feed and out-feed table for the table saw. I'm looking around here as we talk. I gotta clean this up. I've got to run some power. Everything's running on one breaker. I think the whole half of the downstairs is running on that same breaker. So we gotta figure out a way to split that off. Put the workshop on a separate breaker. Put um, the outlets around the wall on a separate breaker. So we're gonna need two breakers. So we got uh, quite a bit of stuff coming up. Still gotta seal these walls. It's damp down here. There's no visible water except what's leaking out of the I just shut off valve on the water heater, but that's another story. Uh, there's no visible water anywhere, um, but it's just moist all the time and really damp. So I'm going to seal it with dry lock, and I'll bring you guys along with that. Uh, there's about four billion holes in the walls where they've had shells mounted over the years, and one hole about four inches in diameter. I have no idea what they did there, but anyway. So we have to seal that up so dampness doesn't come through those holes. So we're going to dry lock the whole place and um, I want to paint the floor so I have to check and see if I can paint over the dry lock if I put it on the floor. But I want to seal the floor too. I want, I, I want to keep all this moisture completely out of here. 
uh, I may end up renting a spray gun to uh, to do that because you have to get it in every pore of these concrete blocks got a lot of stuff coming up I want to get those things done sooner rather than later so that's gonna do it for another episode of Patty G DIY as always thanks for watching God bless we'll see you later tracking to the face so do you want to put on a different t-shirt yeah do you look like you have two wet boobs this is what work looks like <laughs>